Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. And in this channel, we're discussing all things communication skills related. If you're a long time listener, welcome back. I'm appreciative to have you all showing up and showing out. And if you're new, somehow you discovered this channel for the first time, make sure you drop a subscribe right on below for three weekly videos on how to become better with words. Today's video though, is not only going to relate with words, is going to relate with something much deeper. It's a problem that a lot of us are facing in the information age. And this is none other than analysis paralysis. Let me tell you something. Procrastination will never get you started and perfectionism will never get you finished. Why do we procrastinate? We procrastinate for different reasons. When I was an undergrad, I would procrastinate because I knew when I would cram an exam up until the day before I had to do the exam, there were times where I would still pass. And when I would pass, I was like, why even bother preparing weeks and weeks ahead of time? So we procrastinate for those sort of reasons. It's worked out in the past. Other times we procrastinate because the goal is too blurry. It doesn't feel right. And we don't even know what we're chasing in the first place. Another time we procrastinate is because we think we want something, but we don't want it. Others may want it. It may be the next new shiny thing that others are chasing, but deep inside there's no desire for it. So we're not in a rush. We're not chasing it. And other times we procrastinate just because we're a lazy sack of shit. We feel as though opportunities are going to be presented to us on a silver platter. Well, in reality, that's never the case. But with analysis paralysis, is procrastination the issue? I don't think so. Because when you break it down, I mean, there is a desire. We want to do the task. But something is holding us back. Don't you see? Procrastination is not the problem with analysis paralysis. But perfectionism is. And perfectionism takes up different forms just like procrastination. At times, we're looking for the perfect time to begin something. Once X, Y, and Z take care of itself, then we'll begin. Other times, we become perfectionists in regards to our YouTube video. Oh no, the lighting was wrong. I gotta do the video again. Oh no, I forgot this point. I gotta do the video again. Oh no, I stumbled on this word. I gotta do the video again. We're trying to be too perfect. And other times, we're not only perfectionists with ourselves, we're perfectionists with other individuals. We think that others should act in a certain way. And this becomes a problem when we're nitpicking them a little too much. What if the case is, perfectionism is the root cause of analysis paralysis. And once you start understanding this, you're starting to develop in-depth knowledge regarding this phenomena. Now look, None of us wants to suffer from this phenomena, especially in the information age. Because understand this. Analysis is when you're dissecting, when you're breaking things down. And paralysis is a loss of movement. When you get analysis and paralysis and you combine them into one, you get a loser. Now, I don't mean this in a condescending sense, but I mean this in the context of opportunities. You become a loser of opportunities. When you're waiting for the perfect time to begin, you're losing out on time. When you're waiting for the perfect YouTube video before you click upload, you lose out on all these other repetitions that you could have had and build your following. And when you're waiting for others to be a perfect person, you're losing out on project opportunities. One of the cases, you're losing out on opportunities, and that's a big problem. In today's episode, I want you to understand a in-depth understanding of analysis paralysis to a point where I can give you this mind hack. Unless you understand analysis paralysis on a deep level, I can't give you this mind hack, champ, because then you're just going to become tactics focused. We want the tactics to complement knowledge. We don't want tactics to rest on a shallow understanding. So stay patient. In the end of the video, I'm going to teach you how to overcome analysis paralysis with a simple mind hack. 
But till then, let's learn about this phenomena on a deeper level. With that being said, make sure you drop a like right on below because each like helps this video spread so other people that are suffering from this psychological issue can learn. So first of all, we've thus far discussed that analysis paralysis is born from perfection. Now, why are we chasing perfection in the first place? It's due to fear. The reason that we have fear is because of a different variety of reasons. For some of us, it's due to the fear of embarrassment, for the fear of being judged. Other times, we fear of not having more information before we begin. But one of the cases, it's us being scared of something. And that right there is leading to perfectionism. So now you know. If you know a perfectionist, or if you consider yourself a perfectionist, the reason is because there's a core operating belief of fear. You're scarcity minded. You're scared of something, and most likely it's other people's opinions. But don't let this be the case, because the Prattfall effect states that humans like humans who act like humans. Translation Not only are humans okay with imperfections, they love imperfections. I'm not talking imperfect. Character traits like bullying, making fun of someone, lying, etc. I'm talking about when you're taking a strong effort towards something, and if you stumble and fumble along the way, others aren't going to beat you up about it. Instead, there's going to be this lovable persona around you. Think about your best friends, for example. With your best friends, you're not always seeing their good side. You guys became best friends because you saw their good sides. As well as your bad sides as well, and by seeing their good sides and bad sides, you were able to get to that level where now you two love each other. Same with family. With family, you're not always seeing their good sides. You're seeing the good, the bad, and the ugly, which builds love. So you're fearing an illusion, and this illusion is giving you this weird version of yourself that's not real. So for you to understand how to fix this, you just gotta understand that you're operating with fear based off of something that's not real. The Prattfall effect states that imperfections are completely fine, champ. So this melts away the perfectionist attitude, hopefully. But right now you're just learning the theory, so you at least understand things on a deeper level. Now the thing with words is that we can use words to warp our mind. So Armani, how am I going to fix analysis paralysis? You're going to fix analysis paralysis with correct usage of words. Thus far, we understand that perfectionism is an illusion. It's not something that we should be chasing in the first place. So instead of perfectionism, how about we choose a better word? Instead of perfectionism, how about we choose the word perfecting? This is your solution, Armani. This just sounds like wordplay. What's the big deal? Well, the big deal is that perfectionism is a noun. It's a state, while perfecting is a verb. It's a process. When you chase perfectionism, what you give your mind as a command is: Look, you got to do this in the perfect state, and until we reach that state, we're no good. This is the wrong mentality to have. When you're perfecting, things are different. You are in the process of making things better and better and better, and you have more of a pit bull-like attitude. This video, say the lighting is messed up, I'll say, all right, well, I'm going to upload it anyways. But for the next one, I'm going to perfect it more. I'm going to make the lighting great on that one. And for the next video, say the lighting is good, but I forget a point. I'm gonna upload it anyways, and I'm going to say, for the next video, I'm gonna make sure the lighting is right, and I make sure the point is right, and then so on and so on. Do you see? With this one, I'm crippling myself, while with this one, I'm empowering myself, simply by changing the words, not perfectionism, but perfecting. And here's the thing. Here's the secret. Even though human beings, we can never be perfect. We can still command our minds to chase that in a certain way. Or when we're saying perfecting, we always leave the possibilities open. 
and our subconscious mind is always looking for new and new ways to improve. And that's when you start getting good problems. The good problem is when you, the more that you learn, the more you realize that the more that you can learn. But like I said, this is a good problem versus the person that is just losing out on opportunities because they keep thinking and thinking and thinking some more. Understand this, anytime that you're learning a skill set, you're not going to be good in the beginning stages. That's not realistic. Think about it in realistic terms. Don't set up a race for yourself where you're going to win whether you try or whether you don't try. Set up a race for yourself where the only option is to win. And the only option to win is via perfecting. You're always going to keep on getting better and better and better. That's what the core philosophy of level up mentality is. And when you understand this, you become a person who can use quantity that leads to quality and quality which leads to more quantity, which leads to more quality. Translation, you put in the reps, you polish up. The more you polish up, the more reps you put in, and the more you polish up. Learning is a lifelong journey. It's not a finite state. So quit chasing perfectionism and adopt the mentality of someone who is perfecting. Keep leveling up, and you'll realize that in this information that age that we live in, Information is not what matters, but it's wisdom, the ability to, to turn those information into skill sets that matter. If you want more practical insights like this into the world of mentality, make sure you grab a copy of the Level of Mentality in the description box right on below. You're going to learn more about the subconscious mind, more about the alter ego, and more about how to chronicle your journey so you're staying accountable for your level up process. Grab the copy in the description box right on below and thank you for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel.